right. Daniel getting the up throw to jab. Jake again going with the same strategy he did against JT. Run in there with the dare and then side B. God bless has entered the building. Now, I think Daniel, he's gonna try and play his match a bit, they're different peaches, him and Drew are different. Daniel plays a, a bit more with turnips, he doesn't flow cancel as much, but he does double, double jump cancel. Going with an, oh, that was a turnaround throw, I guess. I kinda expecting down smash, but I always expect down smash. Gets him off stage, Rebel adjusting his glasses saying, I can't see this game. This is weird. Why am I losing to Daniel? Daniel staying in the middle of the stage, making Jake come to him. And canceling out his arrows with the nair. Good timing on them. Throw, jump back, throws turn up. That should be a knee. Misses the knee, gets to the up air. He's off stage. Oh, he tries to get him with the down smash. That... What do you think Jake is doing wrong? I think he's... He's not respecting Daniel enough on what he should do. He needs to play as, like against Peach. I think he should play a tiny bit safer. Don't run into down smashes. Don't let him grab turnips either. Stay in that range where if he goes for a turnip, you can get him. But don't run in there and just get hit by the nair consistently. I see. I see the same thing. I think it's kind of like he's playing a style that's not true to himself. Yeah. So like... Oh, he gets attacked from the down oh smash. God. But down smash is... It's godlike. Godlike but punishable still. Don't give up on punishing it. Now, Daniel spacing him out with the back airs. That booty is just covering the stage. It's just everywhere. It's just rocking everywhere. You could say Peach was twerking in Battlefield. Now, Jake keeping him above the platform. Not scared of down smash. Knows he can outspace it. But he's, sta he's staying back now. Gets the knee. Daniel's starting to come to him. Jake kind of recovering this percent deficit. But Daniel just covering the space with a nair, staying in the middle of the stage, getting him on platforms, but that should oh a dare. I kinda wanted a knee there for off stage. But gets the nair, that should be a knee. Jake takes the lead now. Jake running around. Not, oh, but again, the side B is just gonna get punished. It's not worth it. Just nairing him off stage. Captain Falcon is not coming back. Turn up snipes him. Goodbye. Daniel again, spacing him out with aerials, but Jake wants his quick knees. He baits out the, da the down smash and gets a, a forward air. The knee is not gonna, oh, not the knee. The down smash is not covering the options he wants for Jake. Daniel kind of getting desperate and just going in there with aerials, but Jake knows that he has the percent lead. He doesn't need to go in, but he gets the down smash. That could have led to something bad if Jake went off stage. Jake <coughs> I've noticed Jake is escaping to the plat the top platform. He knows Peach can't reach up there. That is gonna oh get up attack to up air. Yes, he has guard situation. Daniel still has his jump. Daniel just floating towards the ledge. That was a smart option, but Jake does not want to go out there for that knee. He knows it's risky. The down air was coming, but that was oh good stock by Jake taking that match. It is 1-0. One 1-0. Zero. One zero. I think Daniel may take him to Fountain of Dreams. Good choice. That is a perfect counter pick choice. The down smash is low enough where that platform is going to catch him. But Jake going in with two knees to dare to up air to back air. But that wasn't going to catch. That should be a knee too. No. Wave lands on the platform waiting for a reaction. Gets the gentleman. Gets the knee. That's going to catch for a stock. Jake is hungry for this one. Tries to catch a turn up but goes with the side B and goes through. Oh. Town throw to forward smash, to dare, to dare, to dare, to up air. Oh, to back air, covering the ledge again. Daniel playing a little bit more offensive this match and it's not working out in his favor. I think he should go back to trying to space Jake out. He may not have the percent leaves, but it's still seven minutes on the clock. You have plenty of time to find out what you need to do. Tries to space him up with the back airs, but Jake coming from the top. Again with the back airs, but 
It's not working out anymore. I think he needs to change it up. Comes in with the dare. That could have. Oh, down smash is gonna send him off stage. Nair. Nair. Oh, down smash. Down smash. Nair. Now, I'd like to see Daniel if he gets a grab before it air. Maybe up air. Oh, but that is a. He's gonna drop down and take a knee for that. Jake catching the turn up and going in with the knee. I've seen that work. Gets a knee, gets a knee. Edge guard situation. Goes for the style and he deserves to lose that stock. Catches the turn up again. Daniel taking these dares. I don't know why these dares are working on people. Up air, up air, knee, soft knee. Gets him with another soft knee. Takes the stock. Found in the dreams to not work out. <coughs> Bring him back to Fountain. Wait, I didn't, I didn't watch your match. <laughs> Daniel saying two minutes is nothing. Terrence giving some advice to Daniel, but Terrence is like, I did not watch this. Terrence asking for a three minute break. But Jake is like, no, I have momentum. I'm not letting that happen. Jake gonna practice on Final Destination. Terrence thinking of some tips to give Daniel. I'm gonna check what stream is saying. I agree, Firefly. If Jake doesn't choke, Jake should have this cleaned up. He has a, he has a two and lead. Terrence is not reading this chat. Terrence right now is giving Daniel some advice. As you can see, Jake is just chilling down on the seat. As recently, I'm Owl, your commentator. Um, right now, it's just... I guess there's some coaching going on. I'm not a Falcon player, but... I have no advice for Jake. Terrence has not been watching the tourney much either. Yeah, the Smash Machine has some hidden people. Um, like a lot of people like count out Hawaii Smash, but we have some real hidden gems out here. We play really odd with how tech. But man, Rebel looks like he really wants this win. He will. Oh, he's smiling at me now. How are you doing, Rebel? Rebel says Tom is free, and he wants to show it by winning this tourney. He wants his chance at Terrence, then he wants his chance at Joel, and then he wants Tom. Terrence coming back from the advice. What advice did you give him? I, I pretty much just repeat the things I said throughout oh. the matches to him and then just tell him what he needs to look out for. Nothing much, but it's mostly mostly up to him. Do you think he'll take your advice? No. I agree. It, it's more like a tech skill thing. It's really hard to switch up your play style, so I can understand. Firefly calling out everyone at this venue saying talk is cheap. Yeah, talk is cheap. I'm gonna beat your boy. Ooh. Terrence of DHC saying humble ain't shit. Smiling while I say that. I I confidently beat all the members except for Tom, so. Whoa, whoa, we have not versed in 30. I'll, I'll admit, Angelo got me, but you haven't got me. You haven't made it far enough for me to get you. Yeah, but that's my fault. That's not you being better than me. That's me being dumb and well, losing. Money well, money match then. Money match. How much? How much can you afford? A five dollar money match you. I'll match you. All right. Five dollar money match. Owl versus Terrence coming on stream after grand finals. Anybody can beat Jake. Robot sticking tongue out face. Now, I just want to give a disclaimer that if I get bodied, I'll think of a John by that time.
Now it's one sock apiece. I missed out both socks for losses oh, except for well, the full cancel. If this time maybe I'll play Drew too. Then I'll like, Why don't you just money match all of Humble? No, then I already play Daniel. I play JT. Oh. And then I don't. Are they really? Are they? Are they that humble? I mean, they join the oh. dance and stuff, but are they that humble? All right, I guess he's in the humble chat, but like, oh. like I don't know. Yeah, so the the more competitive smashers, I be. Oh, so in you the count me? Already. Do you count me as a competitive smasher, Terrence? Why you play for fun? I I play to win. Okay, then you are. Oh I'm man. I'm gonna beat you. Now I'm not gonna say you're not gonna beat me because then if I lose, I lied. But no, this I is. Mean, if you're confident, you're confident. Will you I, go? Will you go Falco against me the whole match? I I think I will. All right. I that, think I will. I'm not gonna cop out and play Fox. Three out of five. Three out of five. All right. Three out of five. Five dollar money match. Owl versus Terrence. Coming out. Well, well, I'm gonna use Falco only. How's that? Okay, I'll only use Puff then. Whatever. All right. You get you get kind of big whatever. Well, Jake taking that. I didn't. I didn't see what happened, but Jake will take that. 